Well, um, that was the Capcom showcase of all time for Resident Evil fans. Um, I live streamed it and ranted for a while, but I might as well do it here as well since you guys probably want to listen to that. So you're going to hear a lot of whining and complaining as this is a rant video. I might have some footage from my rant from yesterday, but we'll see what happens. But actually, before we do that, I have a channel announcement, so skip to this time slot if you don't care for it. I am debating on making this channel a Resident Evil slash Survival Horror slash Devil May Cry channel. I have not played a single DMC game yet, but it's a franchise that really piques my interest into playing and making content revolving around that series. The RE stuff is not going anywhere whatsoever. It's just so spaced out of content to the point where I don't want to have these few weeks hiatuses and then come back when there is news. DMC hasn't been a hot topic for a while, but as I see gameplay, I want to play the games and make videos about them involving reviews. Maybe some news whenever like new games start to become a part of the rumor mill. Getting into the games as well, character wars most likely. So if you guys want me to start making DMC content in the future, leave a comment and let me know or like this video and subscribe. And now let's get into this rant. So as I said, I was streaming the showcase and the more and more we got into it, the more and more I got worried. Then Dragon's Dogma 2 showed up and then that was when reality started to settle in for me. Next up is the last title we'll be showing off today. No way. They just said the last title we're going to be showing off today? There's no fucking way. There's no fucking way, bruh. I fucking knew they were gonna take so much time with Exoprimal, even though we've already seen so much of it even before the showcase. Please tell me there's gonna be one last thing. What's up today's Capcom showcase? Ah! We're always working. I was in the five stages of grief and disappointment, and little did I know that it was practically a fucking recap show. So I hold my L. I guess you can't spell Logan without the L, because man, that was incredibly jarring. When does it get revealed now? Because a lot of separate way stuff got leaked from outfits, mercenaries, and voice recordings, and I'm just sitting here like, does this DLC even exist anymore? I'm just waiting for Devil May Cry 6 and the remake of the first game now. I'm just joking, relax, for, relax, Logan, relax. But listen, I'm not making another video about separate ways for months, because that's how long I think it will be when this game gets revealed. I don't know if it's another PlayStation State of Play, I don't know if it's going to be at Game Awards, but there's only one way to find out. I know there will be people in my comments saying stop putting your expectations high, and you know what? Fine, I'll do that. I'll just expect RE9 moving forward and put my expectations up even higher now. Okay, enough of the jokes, Logan. Let's get back to normal here and let's get down to Earth. I know there will be people in my comments cooking me, rightfully so. Shout out to Ace Attorney for getting that trilogy collection, but... Where is Resident Evil's? They did Ace Attorney, I'm pretty sure they did Mega Man and Street Fighter Classic ports, but no Resident Evil stuff? Like, damn man, RE fans actually really took the biggest L's in that entire showcase, let alone the entire week including the other stuff before Capcom. Hey yo, imagine if Capcom decided to can the Separate Ways DLC because of the harassment Lily Gal got for her performance and that's our punishment for those asshole fans that did that. That would be absolutely insane. And by the way, for those people that who actually did that, if you're watching this video, I just want to let you know that you're a weirdo. I really thought it was a lock, man. Like, damn, this shit stings. Remember when Capcom announced the DLC was on its way for RE8 because of the heavy fan request and made a post about it? Why couldn't they do that for RE4 Remake? They could have said, hey, we're announcing some DLC content for RE4 Remake and be sure to stay tuned for updates in the near future. I could have easily had lived with that, but no, they just want to have the showcase be about the Dino Crisis Troll game and show that game for about 15 minutes. Another thing I did is that I probably underestimated on how long it takes for them to develop a DLC because it took a year and a half for the DLC to be released for RE8, so I'm not saying it's going to take exactly as long or longer than for Remake, but I definitely think I was rushing my expectations though, so that's my bad on my part as well. I'm asking you guys multiple questions for this video, including my channel announcement from earlier in the vid, but let me ask some more. What did you think of the Capcom Showcase, and when do you think Separate Ways will be announced? If you guys want to put the blame on me for overhyping it, by all means, go right ahead. I deserve the L. And also, shout out to Progmata. The game actually looks really cool though, but I am glad that Capcom actually did give us some sort of info about a delay and something like, or stuff like that, because if it didn't show up here, it probably would have gotten cancelled, but anyways, you get the point. 
let me know in the comments as yesterday it was rough but uh thank you all for watching feel free to like and subscribe to the channel for more rb content in the near future i hope everyone has themselves a good day good night a good sleep and i'll catch you guys in my next video peace out and much love